friends and family welcome back you guys so i thought i've already done two videos on soil and atmosphere let's round it off and do a trilogy today just today because i've got my son tomorrow he's got major dental work eight hours of it so you be lucky if you see me at all these next couple of days as i prepare for my soldier to go overseas to the middle east for 13 months um but I do have a little time today and I want to talk to you about carbon capturing. So that is the left's and the Green New Deal's biggest focus now is we got to remove the carbon from the atmosphere that we humans have released through the burning of fossil fuels. So let's just start with the term fossil fuel. So that is so misleading. Oil is in the earth just like water is and it legitimately will never run out okay so they labeled it a fossil fuel when in all actuality it is a renewable source of energy i know i just blew your mind and about half the people that watch this just tuned me off and turned me off but folks i know what i'm talking about okay let's start there second second what makes your plants grow? Carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. They make your plants grow. Without carbon, your plants will not grow. So let me explain this to you. Take a deep breath. You pulled in what? Oxygen. That's what you breathe. You breathe oxygen. When you exhale, okay, you're releasing carbon. What does your plant breathe? Carbon. What do they exhale? Oxygen. It's a symbiotic relationship. All right. So when they go and they decide they're going to capture carbon from the air, honest to God, folks, I'm going to tell you what I truly believe they're fixing to do. You will not be able to grow food any longer. Growing food will just come to a standstill. That's my prediction. If they continue with this ignorance and, and the way that they're teaching our children, people can't even think through the process anymore. They don't even understand photosynthesis. Like your plants have to have carbon. I sequester carbon in a no-till, okay? It is one of the reasons I don't have to put a whole bunch of chemicals on my soil because I pull the carbon out of the air. It's sequestered in my soil. And because I do not till, the carbon builds up. So when I put a plant in the ground, it's got everything available in the soil that it needs to grow healthy. All right. So I don't need any kind of chemical anything. There's the difference with working with mother nature versus working against her. Again, this is an elderberry tree. I don't even know where it came from. It popped up. I don't do anything. I don't trim it. <laughs> I don't fertilize it. I don't do anything. This is two and a half years old. It just keeps growing. But it's on the very edge of my no-till garden. So it's getting all these nutrients from this undisturbed earth, much like trees growing in a forest. There is carbon in the ground from years and years of leaves and wood breaking down on the soil and it's sequestered underneath all those leaves and wood and pine needles in the soil and the tree just absorbs it getting bigger and bigger. All right, so I am totally against any program that wants to sequester carbon. They don't know what they're doing. They are out there creating chemicals brand new, never seen before chemicals to sequester carbon. And we're going to find in 30 or 40 years that it's poisonous to us. So one of you guys wrote something, you made a comment, you said, Sam, please look into the COF 999 program. And I did, this is what it is. And I'm like, oh Lord, have mercy. They just can't stop. It's like somebody did a green light for the crazy scientists just to get going and to never quit. These are the same people that would tell you to till your soil and put, put Agent Orange on there to grow your food. Because a lot of your um, 
pesticides and fungicides have the same chemical compounds as Agent Orange. Guys, chemical companies took all their chemicals that weren't used during World War II and the Vietnam War, and they turned them into farming chemicals, gardening chemicals. Do your research, educate yourself. All that information's available to you. You just have to look it up. You legitimate, you have to spend a few minutes digging around going, you know, I don't think I wanna use any of these chemicals anymore and start looking up what those chemicals actually are, folks. They're toxic. Even the ones that say organic are not really organic. Okay, the only organic products that you can really find and use that I truly believe are safe are things like garlic. Yeah, garlic, just pests hate garlic. Uh, rabbit urine, you heard me. Pests hate rabbit urine. They hate it. It also strengthens your plant and gives it micronutrients you can't get anywhere else. So I'm just trying to give you guys just a little bit of information. Look, we need to stop funding our own demise. I'm being so serious. Leave the atmosphere alone. There's been a carbon cycle in place since time began. God knows what he's doing. We don't need your help. And no, I'm not giving up my oil. Am I happy with fracking? No is you know pumping it from out in the ocean and you not taking care of your machinery and it's spewing oil everywhere healthy absolutely not but that's one man being greedy this is not on god he provided it for us and i fully intend to use it yeah guys don't let them brainwash you and by the way we were demonetized for truth so if you want to support us it's in the top of comments look right down there top of comments you can buy sammy a treat or mom a cup of coffee we'd be so thankful but i did look into it friends cof 999 is a terrifying thing i pray that they stop it they just i pray trump gets in there and says no more funding for any kind of green research we don't need it we don't need it because if they were being truthful with you guys research would be going into training people how not to use tillers and chemicals on their soil do you know why there's a red algae bloom that happens every single year along the Gulf of America and why the fishing and shellfish industry has crashed along the coastline of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Texas, Florida. It's from all your nitrogen fertilizer going up the Mississippi. See, the Mississippi is an artery in our country. It is literally an artery. If you think about veins and arteries in the body, the Mississippi is America's artery. Okay, envision that. All the rivers, all the ponds, the streams, all of it, they're just veins. Whatever you put on your soil is not all being absorbed, okay? Next time it rains on your tilled, chemicalized soil that all gets washed off into the nearest pond stream then river then straight into the artery which is the mississippi river and straight into the gulf of america consider that the heart and you're poisoning us we i don't even trust the fish in the rivers here anymore because the toxic levels of nitrogen and even carbon. People want to sequester carbon in the atmosphere and then add it as a chemical to the soil. I will never understand. Folks, it's not that hard. Stop destroying what the Lord has given you and you won't need all the money to be spent to garden. I'm telling you guys, y'all just give me three months and what you're gonna see out here is absolutely gonna blow your mind. If you live within a one-day drive of me, get to my property, April 26th. Go look on Facebook. The information is there. It's called No Tilling Around. That's the name of the class. I hope and pray all of you find a way to get here, folks. It's a three-hour class. You'll tour the forum. You'll see what we do here, how we do it different, why we do it different. And I can change anybody's mind. Give me five minutes because I can prove everything I just said. Love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Row in our boat, folks, because we're going somewhere and you're welcome to come with us.